Hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, How to Avoid Stochastic Pattern Mistakes uh, Part uh, 2. Alright, so we are looking at uh, a stochastic pattern here. This is not uh, a perfectly uh, designed, so to speak, <laughs> a stochastic pattern uh, because uh, the pattern that we are looking for is usually stochastic is oversold. Alright, alright. And then it will form a, a higher low, you see here. Like you can see this uh, higher low went too far into the overbought zone, followed by this uh, overbought here. Now, when the stochastic form a low and a higher low, and it reaches the overbought zone for the first time, that overbought stochastic is usually very bearish. But as I'm explaining to you, as you start using the stochastic pattern, slowly but gradually, you'll gain more experience and you'll be able to filter out all right, the best from the useless one. All right? So this one is a bit tricky. Sometimes we will trade them, all right, like this one, you see, well, beautifully, though it's not a perfect pattern. We will prefer this low here to be somewhere below, somewhere near the 50, with a low and a higher low. Then we buy, okay, and then we push it up, and then when the stochastic becomes overbought, now we know that it has a high chance to become, okay, bearish <laughs> again, all right? So a low, a higher low, notice that is not too high, somewhere here, near the 50, all right? And then the stochastic reaches the overbought zone for the first time. Here, this one, right here, stochastic pattern traders know this pattern, that this one here, is bearish right so once so how do we avoid stochastic pattern trading mistake by trading it by practicing with more experience by uh, working on it all right by asking questions all right so that's why I was very happy last time a trader did ask me specific question she purchased it because when you purchase the two four SP thirty materials, there is no refund, all right. But if you purchase the SW twenty four S Y S U A, there is a refund. The reason is that I'm a bit emotional when it comes to the two four SP thirty material, and I feel like being robbed when somebody purchased it and want a refund. I don't like that. But what I'm saying to you is this: with a bit of time and practice, you'll be able to identify the best stochastic pattern. That's what I'm saying. So, but now, you see, as I was telling you, sometimes we trade those that are not very gorgeous, as I'm telling you now. It's not, this one is not perfect. You'll see, you come across them quite often. Some of the pattern will not be perfect, and you'll be thinking, should I trade it, or should I not trade it? You see this one here, this is a double bottom, but not a perfect, because it went too far, it went almost overboard. But then you say, all right, let's see what will happen. You see, you come in across that question quite often. Let's see what will happen. But in order to control the risk in all cases, especially those who are not perfect stochastic pattern, you will, all right, use a top-down trading method. You see, now this is another pattern that we talk about. I talk about those patterns in the public place, but there are 13 specific stochastic patterns. So those are not the only, so those are just uh, the basic one. There are more complex stochastic patterns. So you can see now, so now we have this one. This is another one, stochastic low, you see, a low. It comes from the overbought. This is the first condition. Display a low, all right? And then for, and then it goes to the oversold zone. This is a bullish stochastic pattern right here, which is the opposite of this one, a low, a higher low, so can see become oversold. See here, so you can see a high, a lower high, and so can see become oversold. All right, so this is the opposite of this one. We know this pattern. So here it is. It went up yesterday. It went up. You will see some pattern that are not gorgeous. <laughs> All right, you see some of the pattern will not be very good. This is a nice one because he was retesting this trend line here. But it is. You may enter the trade sometime, and you may end up being a losing trade. It happens. It doesn't mean that the pattern is wrong. So they take you out for different reasons, either economy news or market environment, 
or uh, other things happening in the market and uh, a trade that support to be a winning trade and uh, be a losing trade. All right? Stick to the 5% money management rule, there will be a losing trade. Pull back a bit, all right? Refresh yourself, all right? <laughs> and see what went wrong. If the pattern is still good, all right? And there is another opportunity to re-enter the trade, good, re-enter again. Unless you are trading a financial instrument, uh, that is useless. There are financial instruments that are considered useless because they will just waste your money. So if you trade a financial instrument all the time and all you get is loss, 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 why is it telling you? Leave me alone. Don't, don't trade it anymore. Don't trade that financial instrument anymore. Trade financial instruments that are smiling to you. <laughs> you understand? Also, financial instruments uh, that do not move. We want the price to move. So you buy store, you buy some of the useless financial instruments, they sit there the whole day, you keep trading the same thing, they're just wasting your money. Don't trade them anymore. Or you trade during the Asia session, or sometime during the day, the lunch time, or Friday, it's so quiet, and you end up losing those particular times. Don't trade during those times anymore. Or during the first week of the month, you keep losing all the time. Yes, stay back the first eight days. So those things will help you to, <laughs> to avoid trading mistakes in general. Right? But talking about the stochastic pattern, as you can see here, this is a distinctive stochastic pattern. It's not neat, it's not gorgeous as we will accept it. Right? You see now? But we will pay attention to the price, you see here. This is a nice, and beautiful setup. <laughs> Why? Because the price went up one, two, three, and you will trade and all that, and now it's consolidated. <laughs> all right? It's finding a resistance here. So this is a very sharp pattern. This, okay, so we will say, is he at a resistance level? So a trader said to me, Joe, you talk about entering the trade, which is good, now talk about the exit. So this is the entry. So you can see the red line. Am I, should I change the color a bit so you can see now on your chart? Uh, which color should I use now? Uh, I have pink too many pink. I don't know which color to use now. Uh, turquoise? Can you see turquoise? See the turquoise? That's the trend I see. This one. It's happening at a resistance level. This is critical. So one of the tricks that you can use, you see a bullish stochastic pattern. Is it at a support level? Is it at a key level? See here, this one is retesting the trend line, verification. As I mentioned in the first part of this tutorial, this series of videos, we were talking about market pattern. You see, market pattern. See, here, the market pattern was a triangle. You see, one is consolidation in a triangle. One, two, three, see? It's a small triangle here. Finally, it popped out of the triangle. Now it's retesting the top. Here was a good place to buy because one, two, three, we test the lower part of the bay. It's a support. Try by price did find a support here, did find a support here, did find a support here. Here we have a stochastic pattern. We implement a top down trading method. Here we have a very stochastic pattern. It's not perfect. It's not gorgeous as we would like it. All right? But it's at a resistance level. We'll give it a chance. You may notice that there was a consolidation here among the weekly chart. I'm on the weekly chart, see here? Yeah? Right, going up and down, up and down, up and down. So you will give precedence to the market pattern, as I mentioned in the first part, yeah? Consolidation. So for you who want to sell, you will sell at the top of this small consolidation here, yes or no? So you will not try to buy near the low of this consolidation here. Because you see the very chart pattern, but the market pattern is consolidation after one, two, three. You will sell here. Maybe you leave it there or open two position, close one when it reach the lower part of the consolidation, and let the other one stay there. Because your stop loss is above the consolidation before you will see the breakdown. Here it is coming down. Looking at the euro, US dollar. So the point I'm making here. Yes, you will come across patterns that are not perfect. Yes, sometimes you will decide to trade it, but concentrate on the price. If it's a bullish stochastic pattern, make sure it's at the support level, at the trend line, at the key level. Is a resistance converted into support? Is it a normal support level? 
Is it a trend line on the edge? Good. Break below, retest the line. Implement the top-down trading method. All right. Attention to the market pattern. Always flash before the stochastic pattern. So to improve, to avoid stochastic pattern trading mistake, more practice. So you use this something happen, take note. Why this was a losing trade? All right, this was not a perfect stochastic pattern, but I did give it a chance. Oh, I should not have used too much stop loss because this was this was not a perfect setup. So it was a speculative trend. I should have used a lesser stop loss. You see, so you may say, "All right, it's not perfect. I want to give it a chance. Therefore, I will be more careful. I will not splash it." You see, this is those are the things that you're going to do as a stochastic pattern trader, and slowly but gradually you will be able to pinpoint the best setups and you will use the top down trading method and most importantly because you know the patterns and you see what the pattern can do you will become more patient you see because when we see the stochastic pattern a bullish stochastic pattern very often more than 80 percent of the time the price will go up isn't it good to know that you see this is another one yeah low and a lower low. It couldn't reach the overzone. This is what we are talking about. It came from overbought, displayed this low, followed by this low. Couldn't reach perfectly. Where are we? It just touched it a bit. Not perfectly overshone. 31. Can we accept that? Almost so. We may say that this is not a perfect, like this one here. You see here? So we give it a chance. Attention to the market pattern. See, it's a consolidation here. You prefer to buy here, not here. Here, you buy here, be ready to take profit at the top. Yeah, this one works beautifully, you see here. So because the pattern is true, the pattern is working, all we need to do is to know how to handle it. We want to be very, very patient, very important, very selective, all right, and control the risk. How do we control the risk? You use different time frame fundamental. If the, path, the pattern is not perfect as uh, this one here, be gentle, that's all. Handle with care. Trade financial instruments that are smiling to you, so to speak. Stay away from financial instruments that are useless. If during some time of the day or week or month, you keep losing, you know that the market is telling you something, do not trade during those times. Find out the best time to use the stochastic pattern so you may get a better a trading result. So this will conclude our discussion today about uh, all right, how to avoid stochastic pattern mistakes apart two. I hope you will find this video also useful and that it will help you to improve your stochastic pattern uh, trading. If you have any question or suggestion, feel free to put in the comment section and to course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. We are the two four SP stochastic pattern traders, the trading material that reveal to traders the 13 specific stochastic patterns. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. Happy trading to you all, and I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching.